Hello everyone, this is Nabil Murad from Toronto, Canada. In this training video, I want to show you how to insert a picture comment in an Excel spreadsheet. What is a comment? When you look at an Excel spreadsheet and you see a little red triangle in the upper right corner of any cell, you understand that this cell contains a comment. And to see the contents of this comment, you simply need to hover over this cell and when you hover over this cell, you will see the contents of the comment and you will be able to read it and even to modify it by right clicking and selecting edit comment. How to insert a comment? You simply select a cell where you would like to insert a comment. You can either right click and select insert a comment. That's one option. You can click on the review tab and click on new comment or you can simply use the shortcut alt R C. So whatever the technique you use, you click on new comment and here is the content of the comment. So I can type any text I want to see in my comment, 10% discount on this order, and I'm done. I can resize the comment if I wish. I can do that by dragging from one of the sizing handles, and then when I click away, the comment is already in place. That's the regular comment. If you decide later on you would like to delete that comment, you just select the cell having the red triangle, and then you click on the delete comment under review tab or you can simply right click and delete comment. That's not the type of comment I'm talking about. This is the very basic type of comment. I'm talking about another much more interesting type of comment. Let's say you have a list of expenses and you would like to attach the invoice or you would like to attach the receipt for each one of the transactions. You can simply do that by adding a picture comment. And I do have an example here. I already spent this amount by a check so I can simply hover over the cell having the comment the picture comment and then when I hover over it I can see a picture of my check as a reference at any time you can add any type of picture comment to your cell and to add a picture comment assuming that you have this picture on your computer it's very simple let's see another example so in my next example, I have a list of employees and I have all the information for each one of the employees. I have an employee human resource number. I have the first name, last name, the department, the hire date, and the earnings. But what about the picture of each employee? So I added it as a comment. So if I hover over my name, I can see my picture. If I hover over the record for Jessie Bennett, I can see her picture as well. How to insert this very special type of comment? Let's see how we do that. I'm going to insert a comment for the next employee, Abir. I'll be selecting the cell for the next employee. And then I would like to insert a picture comment. So on the review tab, I'm going to click on new comment, or I can simply use the shortcut Alt RC and the comment is inserted. Because it's a picture, I would like, before inserting it, I would like to resize the container in the shape of a vertical rectangle. And then I'm going to delete the username, which appears by default in the comment itself. So I'm deleting the contents and I would like to add the pictures. I'm going to click on the border of the comment itself and I would like to open the format comment dialog box. And to open this dialog box, I'm going to use the shortcut control one and the shortcut control one opens the format comment dialog box. It's the same shortcut that we use to open the format cell dialog box in Excel. I open the format comment dialog box. I have multiple tabs. I have like eight tabs. So I have a tab for the font, for the alignment. The one that I want is for the colors and lines. I'm going to click on this tab, the colors and lines. And which color would you like for the content of your comment? No, I don't want a color. So I'm going to click on the down arrow for color. And here I'm not selecting a color, I'm selecting a fill effect. So if I click on fill effects, it opens another dialog box with four tabs. Would you like to have a gradient color, a texture, a pattern? No, I would like to have a picture. So I'm going to select the picture. And of course, because the picture is stored on my computer, so I would like to select that picture. I'll browse to the location of picture. It's in a folder named employees on my desktop. And here I have all the pictures. So I'll be selecting the picture for a beer and hit insert and then hit OK twice. So I'll hit OK and another OK. And here you go. Here is the picture of the employee. If I deselect the cell and then come back and hover over that cell, I can see the picture comment. In a more advanced scenario, 
And if you have a long list of employees, let's say hundreds or thousands of employees, instead of doing this process manually for each employee, assuming that I have thousands of employees and I created a special folder where I saved all the pictures, I can create a simple code in VBA. And using this simple code, I will loop over the different names and add the picture comment for each individual employee with a simple click this is not the topic of our discussion. I was talking about the regular method of adding one single picture comment at a time. But just to show you how it works, I'm going to click once on this button and it will add a picture for each employee. So when I click on add picture, here is a comment for each employee. So I can hover over Karim and see his pictures, Jesse, Abir, James, Trevor, Rita, Sandra, Adam, Malcolm, and Shannon. And if I would like to delete all the comments in one go, I created another very simple code, one single line in VBA, and click on clear all, and I deleted all the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next tutorial.